So we're ready now. Um, we're back on our KVM. We're back on our machine. Um, as you can see, we can ping uh, Google. We can ping the uh, share uh, NAS server. So let's uh, create our NAS. So first, we want to um, sudo. We want to mukdir slash mnt slash win. Then we want to do a whoops sudo. I keep forgetting that. Mount minus t. It's a sifs and it's on uh, ten dot one one three dot. You can get that again. Remember our one one three thirty eight one six one. 113.38.161 slash share. That's where it is. Uh, the options, well, we're going to give it a username. That's going to be administrator, if I could spell. And the password is, and again, it was in our little file here, um, tu39, tu39. T4ZE and best not forget we're mounting it somewhere. There we go, lovely. Um, now we want to CD to slash. Um, we want to do a sudo copy slash MNT slash win slash cloud and it should pick it up to dot. Excellent. Let's vi our cloud config.yml file. Oh, look what's happened. As part of the NFS, it's kindly brought over the slash ends for us. Um, and somehow we seem to have new lines here. I don't know why. Um, so, okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. Always worth a check. Um, we could see whether it's going to work by running core... OS um, cloud um, cloud uh, minus cloud in it. Sorry, uh, minus cloud in it minus validate minus from file dot slash cloud um, core OS. Oh, what was this command again? Oh, my mind is a mush. I have to go back here. Um, core OS minus cloud in it, sorry. I was almost there. Core OS minus cloud in it. Oh, and it doesn't like any of it. Yuck. Okay, so that's how we will validate the file. So, uh, we want to get rid of those um, horrid uh, control M's. We could do it manually or we could sudo sed minus edit and we're going to substitute you go control v control m we're going to substitute those with nothing and the file is cloud config.yaml and we're going to send it out to slash tump slash uh, mimi why not bi slash tump slash mimi there it's gotten rid of the uh, the m's now the other problem i have here is this uh, this new line it's come from nowhere so do a shift j and it drags it up and then an x uh, same again shift j and x shift j and x shift j x Shift J and an X. Right. That's looking much better. These have all kept their indents because they were spaces. Write that file and then we're still in slash. Yes. Sudo uh, copy slash chump slash mimi to dot slash cloud minus config dot yaml. Now we can run our core OS minus cloud in it. Well, it still doesn't like it. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's edit it. 
config.yml. What's it saying? Line 5. Expected a colon. Line 5. Oh, let's go to line 5. That's here. Ah, yeah. Shift J. Oh, I haven't sudoed, have I? Okay, sudo. Go to here, shift J. That should all be on that line. That's better. Right. Lovely. That's what you want to see. It's all there. Now we just do a simple fdisk slash dev slash sda to get rid of the OS that was on there. Oh, look, good lord, Eamon. Remember to be root. Uh, D. Uh, we're getting rid of partition 1 and D. And that's got rid of partition 2. Excellent. Write that result. Lovely. That's it. We are ready to install. So, without further ado, we have our YAML. We have a valid YAML. We have mounted the uh, SIFs. We've brought over our YAML file. We've deleted the partitions. We are now ready to go with the sudos, uh, sudo coreos install minus d slash dev slash sda is where we're installing it minus c we want the stable one we checked that we we were getting dns a minute ago and minus c cloud whoops cloud, cloud config.yaml and this is the install here we go that's it that'll take about uh, about one or two minutes to install this and we will have a working CoreOS installation on bare metal on software. I will return when this is finally finished. Okay, and there you have it. So as you can see here, it's run through its install now, as I promised, and there you go. Success, CoreOS Stable version 647 is installed on Dev SDA. So what we want to do now is go to the virtual storage and unplug it. Plug out. That should, I'll kill that, bring up a message saying it's disconnected. That's exactly what we wanted. And now we can just reboot. And once this has rebooted, it will try to go to the USB, but there won't be any there. And then it will reboot entirely and bring up CoreOS on our bare metal machine. And that is how you install your own operating system within IBM software. Um, it's been a journey. It's been quite a series of videos. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. And... Uh, that is how you get your own version of an operating system up and running. That's going to take a few minutes to run through this. Um, so I will let it run for a couple of, you know, say 30 seconds or so, just so you can see the actual boot process. Um, if it takes far too long, I'll pause the video and then just restart again, just to add the last little section showing it up and running. Um, hopefully this has been useful. Um, I guess we should do a recap and I'll do a recap video to finish off this series just saying, uh, walking through again what we did in terms of the actual implementation. So there you go, it's running through. It's just going to reboot the actual, grab the OS now in a minute from the hard drive. Okay, I'm looking to see Core OS. Oh yes, it's going to take a while on this one. Um, let me see, have I still got our overview of what we did? File. Your own OS on software. Let me just bring this up and see if I can put it into the window. Overlaying this one so that we can do the recap now while that's running. So, just to recap, what we did, what we did today was we built our own 
pair of servers. We built a virtual machine as a staging server using Windows 2008 and we had a NAS and now the new NAS with software is 250 gig is the minimum you can get so I'll update that while we're here. Um, we then built a ordered a bare metal server um, whoops I'll go back to this one it seems to have flipped on a page we then built a core OS bare metal machine we built it a CentOS but we knew we were gonna um, trash the operating system that was on there we set up booting from a live CD we configured the networking um, after we booted from the live CD we formatted the disk we wrote a cloud config YAML file it was actually a YML file um, pronounced YAML but YML um, and then we basically installed, we ran that and installed this, unmounted the ISO and rebooted the machine. So remember, this is the process you could use for a SUSE server or for any sort of uh, custom OS that you want to install on there. So here we are, it has all booted and there it is, Core OS running on a software server. Thanks very much.